What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking about a really popular phrase that I feel like is not really discussed in enough depth to actually mean what it's supposed to mean to most people. And as you can tell from the title of this video, the phrase is everything you need is already within you or already inside of you. I compressed it for the sake of like titles, but you get it. Honestly, I 100% believe that this is true. A lot of people say it. A lot of people believe that it's true as well. But how many people truly understand what this means? This is something that when I first heard it like about four years back, I really, really wanted to apply it. But there was a lot of resistance in my heart thinking, you know, like, okay, I have $600 inside of me. That doesn't really make total sense. I did not eat a debit card for breakfast this morning. How, like where's the money at <laughs> you know what i mean and this concept is pretty hard to explain which i think is why a lot of people haven't gone into depth of explanation of it but that's what i'm going to do today just to set the record straight so here we're just going to deep dive into the meaning of this phrase and talk about some of the practical ways to really apply this to your life if that sounds interesting to you then just go ahead and keep on watching so ultimately, when I think of, you know, everything that you need is within you or already inside of you, there are three things that come to mind on breaking that down and what that actually means. The first being that everything is an exchange. Everything in the world is an exchange. It's not that you actually have the thing that you need, like the thing that's on your mind that I need this thing. It's that you have whatever it is to trade in for that thing, to exchange to get that thing. But that's not to say that it's a lie and that you don't actually have what you need. You do, but what you have that you need is what you need for the world, not for what you need for yourself. It's what you need in order to get what you need, and that is to be able to pour out into the world. So going back to the $600 I mentioned earlier, sure, you might not have the $600, but maybe you have a $600 skill or idea that could get you that money. Let's say you know how to build a website and someone else would be willing to pay $600 for their website to be built from scratch. There you are, that's your $600. You've got the skill set to build the website. You've got the person who needs the website built, $600 just like that. Now let's take the scenario that yes, I need $600, but I don't have the time to sit here and wait for a $600 client. I gotta pay my rent tomorrow. What does that mean? <laughs> does that mean that you just don't, suddenly you don't have what you need? Of course not but you have something else other than the $600 that you can exchange for keeping your home, which is not the money that you need, it's the home that you need in that situation, right? So what you have is the negotiation skills, the communication skills, the persuasion skills, the kindness to speak to your landlord and get your little extension, right? I'm sure that this is another perspective. You can look at it in terms of having what you need is something in your mind rather than like, the tangible. And then this does make us think, what if what we think we need, we just don't need? Like, what if the $600 is just something you just wanted to go shopping with? You don't actually need it, you just desire it. And so we have to understand that in that situation, what we need is patience, is gratitude for what we already have, is a rewiring of our mind to be able to drop the materialism, whatever it is, we still have what we need in that situation as well. So the second point is that you are more prepared than you think. I'm gonna use myself as an example for this. The perfect example for this was me starting this YouTube channel. I started it about two, three months ago, okay? And at that time, and even still now today, in this very moment, don't feel like I have everything I need. I don't have a professional camera. I got a shitty background. Excuse me, I got a crappy background. My language, you know what I'm saying? I'll be talking crazy sometimes, stuttering a lot. I don't really, I'm not fully there. And there are a lot of reasons for me to not start this channel. Then I have to be more grateful and appreciative of what I actually do have. I have a phone that I can record on. I have a laptop that I can edit on with the stock, you know, editing software. I've got the ability to edit out all of my stutters, you know. And I just did it, by the way. I stuttered trying to say that the first time on accident. But ultimately, I really have everything I need. I had it, everything that I needed in order to start the channel. And so I just did it. Man, let me just add in another personal example. When I started making music, I didn't know how to write songs. 
I was barely as I loved singing I kind of had a natural gift for it but I didn't have any skill with it you know I didn't have access to any doll software I started writing just started writing <laughs> it was so crappy in the beginning um, after a while I started recording using my laptop GarageBand which is the free doll on my laptop obviously and this headset you know like call center headset that I got for my work from home job and that was my studio setup and look I started if I didn't start I wouldn't have made the progress to know that I could invest in it that I could actually build in it and it was really important for me to actually start from somewhere like that was really what was important and once I did that you know it was kind of like okay I know I don't have all my ducks in a row right now but if I start with the little bit of ducks I have the rest of them can join in when the time comes so in situations like that it's never what you imagine I think it was like it's either Amazon, Apple, Google, or any of the other, Facebook, something major, right? <laughs> Started in a garage, you know, and now they have these massive headquarters. But for you to think that you have to start in the massive headquarters just means that you don't believe you already have everything you need. So we've got to stop letting our standards get in the way of our progress. We got to start with what we've got. And the third prong on this topic, on this idea, you have everything that you need within you is that you are enough. And the, I'm not going to lie to you, when I used to hear people say, you are enough, or you got to know that you're enough and stuff, they used to bother me because I'm like, what do you even mean enough? Even in those moments when I was the person they were talking to who didn't think that I was enough, I didn't know what it meant. And I was like, that sounds stupid. Enough for what? Enough of what? Like, I, I didn't get it. It just didn't make enough sense alone to me. So I couldn't really grasp onto it. And so I'm going to dive into that phrase right now as well. And it's really just to say that you alone are enough regardless of what you have. Comparison is a thief of joy. So don't look at what they have, what they've got. Who are you? And know that that is enough who you are. Not who you think that you should be. Not what you think that you should have. But just you innately. Take off the clothes. I mean, don't take off the clothes. I'm going to get naked on here now. But you know what I'm saying? Like when you strip down to bare bones... Ooh, that went too far in. Okay, <laughs> yo. When it's just you and nothing else and no one else, it's just you. Do you love you? Do you love what's inside of you? Do you love who you are? Is that enough? Yes, it is. I'm gonna use myself as an example one more time because I mean, why not, right? It's just really easy to be detailed when you're talking about something you've been through. I graduated from UNC Chapel Hill. This is an amazing school, it's a great school, public Ivy League, how they call it. And when I applied to it, you know, I really didn't think I was gonna get in because I didn't really think I was enough. And the reason was because of what I looked like on paper compared to like what the College Board website was saying, the requirements were, you had to have these test scores, you had to have this GPA, and you had to have these types of experiences. And I was just looking at myself my resume and looking at this and being like look if i make it into the school i'm like bottom bottom freaking tier <laughs> like student but i applied anyway and i think that my tipping of the scale was in my essays because i was expressing a lot of vulnerability a lot of authenticity and uniqueness and a lot of my meanness through those essays so technically was i qualified to go to that school nah not really but i am enough I, who I am, not what I can do, not what I've accomplished, not what the resume says, but who I am was enough. And I do want to reel it all back in by reminding us that it's not about what you want that's within you, it's about what you need. You're saying $600 for rent, but you need a home and you need a home because you need security. You need somewhere safe to feel. Think about what you actually need. You don't need to have the most robust mind-blowingly flawless resume you don't need to have the most high-tech youtube recording studio you don't need to have the 600 dollars sometimes what do you want that for and how can you translate that need into what you already have inside of you available to share with the world if what you think you need rejects you meaning you can't get it that's not what you need it's something else because when you express your authenticity, when you express it confidently, what you need will never reject you. It will always accept you. What you need is always there. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you. 
for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gained something from it. If you liked it, then like it and I'll see you next time. Bye.